What I wanted to share with y'all this evening is talking about what kind of artist you are. What type of artist are you and how does it affect your work? Thinking about the fact that every time you pick up a brush or a knife, every time you step up to the easel, you're consciously or a lot of times unconsciously choosing where to spend your energy, where to spend your time, what to focus on and what to ignore, what to let go. These decisions affect the results that you get. And more importantly, they impact how you feel about the results you get. So to say it a little bit differently, if you want to feel successful in making art, or really anything else for that matter, because this is not just specific to art, you really need to know first how you define success, what success means to you. There has to be alignment between what you do and why you do it. So there are three main drivers, three main kinds of drivers that I see for artists. Usually one stands out as being more important than the others. Those three are pleasure, profit, and impact. There's a little bit of all three motivating most people that I know and talk to, but usually there's one that stands out above all the others. There's one thing that is the most important thing to an artist. That changes over time. It doesn't have to stay the same forever. When you're usually starting out, the main reason that people are painting or making sculpture or making any sort of creative endeavor is because it makes them feel good. It's fun or it's pleasurable or it's a passion. It's something that they are dreaming about and thinking about all the time. So it's, or it can be entertainment, but it's, it's something that fulfills an emotional need. The second one is profit. And profit tends to be something that's looked down on in the, the art world. It's a dirty little word. And it shouldn't be because there's no reason why an artist shouldn't make a living from what they love to do. So if making money at making art is what you want to do, go for it. Own it. Don't feel bad about it at all. Because if you do, if you feel, you feel bad about it, if you deny that that's really what you want to do at that time and walk away from it, it'll bite you in the butt because it will. it's still there. You're just denying it. So you've got to acknowledge what it is that you really want and then go for it. The third one is impact. And impact is when an artist has a message they want to get out. The message is the most important thing, not the internal emotional driver, not the profit, but the message is having an impact on the world. It's transforming people, whether it's transforming the way they see things, the way they act, or the way they do things. But art with a message the artist as messenger, means that they're really trying to impact those that are around them. And artists go through those state, each one of those things a lot of times as different stages. So an, a young artist might be purely interested in the passion of making art to begin with, then think, maybe I can make some money at this. Maybe I can even make a living at this. And then the profit can become important. And then once they become more stable in their business, the impact can become the thing that's more important. But bottom line, you have to know which one it is for you right now. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to feel that sense of completion that happens when you're achieving or you're in alignment with what you really want and need. So which one is it for you? Is it pleasure? Is it profit? Or is it impact? 
let me know right here in the comments if that, if one of those strikes a chord, if one of those resonates with you. Which one is it for you? Let me see if I can pull those. For some reason, my comments are hidden here. I'm going to see if I can get them up over here on the other device. There we go. Now I can see them. Um, oh, good. We've got some great comments in here. Yeah, Diana says, agree to all three, but pleasure is my number one. And if you know that's the main thing, then you want to orient what you're doing and how you do it to make sure that you enjoy what you're doing. So, awesome. And Josephine says, satisfaction, pleasure, and some profit so I can keep painting. Absolutely. I actually like to get my students to think about which percentage is the most important for you. Is it 50% pleasure, 25% profit, and 25% impact? Or is it 90% one and 10 the other? Which one is it? Because once you know that, then you can figure out which path you need to take so that you can really optimize for that end result. Because there are different kinds of challenges you run into depending on which type of motivator is really driving you. So people who are really motivated by pleasure can get really frustrated when they don't have the skills that let them paint with ease or let them sculpt with ease. When the, the skill stuff gets in the way, it's not as much fun anymore. If you're working towards impact, I mean, working towards profit, the challenges that can get in the way are, are not really knowing how to market and sell your work. That can be a huge challenge and a huge demotivator. It can really get in the way. But just like the technical skills, it's something that's fixable, something that you can learn about. And the last one, impact. If getting your message across, if delivering a message, if changing people is really what is driving you, if you don't know how to create an engaged audience, how to find an audience of people that you're trying to reach, then you're talking to the wind, and that's extraordinarily frustrating. You have to have an audience in order to make an impact. And an audience is important for profit as well. But if you don't know how to get that audience, then you're not going to be able to achieve either one of those things. So super important to know which one of those three is the thing that's going to drive you towards feeling successful. Then you can chart out your roadmap to get there. So let's see who else has something that they've dropped here into the comments. Diana says, I am my own worst enemy. I may not think it's good. And then someone else says, oh my God, I love this. That is not unusual at all. My gallerist has a a thing he says artists are not always the best judges of their own work that we don't always see it with a degree of objectivity part of that is because we made it we're too close to it and we have high expectations for it a rule that i really frequently cite is the 24 hour rule and it means that you can't destroy the work until you've been away from it for 24 hours so if you think it's awful, step away, look away for at least 24 hours before you throw it in the trash. Because a lot of times, it's actually pretty darn good. It's just that you're too close to see it and you're stuck right in the messy middle where you can't see what's working. So be careful with that messy middle stage. Yeah, Pat says pleasure and profit. Awesome. I think that's important. Dennis says all three. Nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> and thinking about which proportion is super important, y'all. So keep thinking about which one's important to you. <clears throat> and let me know how you're thinking about getting there. Happy painting, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye for now.